G'day dear friends, welcome to Xris Art. My name is Chrissy and I uh, just wanted to say a very quick hello uh, already off the bat. Hello Paulo, hi Cherry. <laughs> okay, so I thought, you know what, I'm, I just want to play around. I've had this idea in my head and this is not the first time uh, this has happened. There's quite a few people that do this kind of thing where they will maybe uh, put watercolor on a surface and then use pastels on top to enhance. Now um, the paper of choice, what else would it be? Is pastel mat and this is an A5. Uh, A5. Now for those who don't know what A5 is in centimeters, it is, let me see, well say 24 by 18 well it's sort of a5 ish i think a5 ish is smaller than that um anyway but let's just for argument's sake uh and the uh the watercolors of choice today are the roman schmal and i'll talk about that in a in a little bit and the renaissance which are both polish polish uh watercolors beautiful watercolors i have painted with these and you have seen me paint with these uh, in the past uh, i have got a few soft pastels various brands i'm not specific for a brand it's the color that i'm going for i do have pastel pencils by my side uh, i've got pens um i probably that will be the last thing i'd Oh, pans are fantastic, but I thought, let me try these, because I'm always playing with pans, aren't I? And I know what results I'm going to get with pans. I just want to see with soft pastels. Uh, some of the watercolour brushes I have, I'm trying a few. Now, we've tested these one, these ones out before. These are the Derwent, um, I don't know what you call them, but, you know, the Derwent water brushes that have got the, the water in the barrel there, and you push this little do hickey thing and the water comes out oh my gosh what an explanation that is uh, <laughs> uh i've also got let me see i've got a princeton uh neptune uh quarter inch brush by my side and i've got the now a kalinsky sable made in germany um it's called sea white but it's um yes so that's quite nice that brush i have played with this before but this one i have not this is uh, by Renaissance Aquarius watercolor brush. As you can see, it's still got the you know the waxy bit on it, right? And I haven't used it, so it's time to use it, right? Uh, and I just wanted to say hello to more friends. Hello, Oksana. Welcome, Nuria. Welcome. And um, let's get to it. Okay, now the. Like, I didn't care what kind of pastel mat I was going to use. Uh, I've got pastel mat, and I need to use certain colors that I don't normally use. So this was one of them. Uh, I believe this one is Sienna. Mm, oh my gosh, I should know these colors off by heart. I use them all the time. Um, it'll come to me. I'm pretty sure it's that. Um, Okay, so all I'm going to do is a shell. So I'm actually going to, uh, here we go. Oh, I'm breaking the, um, so this will be interesting. Oh, look, it even feels nice on the hands. I mean, it's just, it doesn't sound right, does it, when I say it like that? But you know what I mean. It just, <laughs> stop touching it. Um, okay, so also I wanted to talk about some of the other watercolors that I have close by. Now this is called Rosa Gallery. These are from the Ukraine. And uh, these are, I haven't used them too much, uh, but these are on par with the likes of uh, Schwinka and, and all of the artist quality brands that you can think of. So, and uh, really, really nice. So this is a set that I've purchased. So I'm just going to put that aside as well. I'm using these lovely little watercolor palettes. You know, the ones that are stackable. Probably, I'm not quite sure which way you should use them. You could use them anyway, I suppose. But um, it's, it's these stackable ones. You can't see, but they're all like that. I mean, look at that. I just fell in love with that. 
the idea of anyway it's yeah another purchase um and okay here we go which is something that i've shared with as well now these are the uh, uh let me see these are the the roman schmal um the roman schmal watercolors these little ones here they're the renaissance they're the aquarius and see these ones here they're the aquarius here as well beautiful color it's just lovely colors so i'm just going to put some of these aside hi lisa hello nice to see you here welcome welcome all right so i'm going to let's just see how we go i do have a dryer next to me uh now the one thing with this with pastel matte and watercolor it cauliflowers so i'm well aware of what it will do on this surface uh i'm just trying to get my uh so is um and i'm sure people here perhaps maybe have experimented with uh watercolor and um uh, watercolor and pastel so i'm just wetting my brush i'm not going to wet my surface or maybe i should i know what's going to happen oh look, bugger it i'll wet my surface i'll just wet this bit here see what happens and testing out this brush as well so um, now as you know uh, for people that have used pastel matte in the past uh, you know that this is a, a quite a strong paper and it is made for pastel right specifically made for pastel but us artists have found new ways <laughs> to use this paper uh, okay here we go there it is there this is the dioxazine dioxazine violet oh one of my favorite colors um, so let's see what it does maybe I don't have enough water down um, but this is going to be covered anyway not covered but there will be layers of pastel on top so so, um, hi Lindy, hey Chrissy and everyone, nice to see you, uh, nice to see you too, nice to see you all, that, there we go, yeah. Uh, wow, that looks really nice. Now, what's happened, now the reason why I'm moving is because I've got a light that's on top and the water is shining, so I just want to see where I'm at with it, that's all. Um... I want to make sure that my brush is really, really wet because uh, pastel matte is a bit stubborn. Well, it's not made for water, but you know. Yes. So, have any of you tried um, using uh, this particular technique where? And this is not a new technique, by the way. Uh, this is, and I'll tell you how um, it was, I was inspired. Uh, I was inspired because the, there was, a, there was a, a lady where I worked. There was a lady who came in and she was trying to match certain colors with her project. And so she brought in her project. Now, this project would have been, look, I don't know 50 by 70 centimeters yeah uh, 50 by 70 centimeters which is I don't know how big that would be in inches damn big I reckon um, and it was a portrait and she had used watercolor and she'd used pastel on top honestly I was struggling to pick my jaw up off the floor it was just beautiful and I'm thinking oh look I must try that now look what's happening see look it's cauliflowering see see i told you it was going to do it well i know because i've played around with that kind of thing um oh i don't know should i yeah anyway <laughs> yes 
And so I thought, you know, and it hasn't left my mind. And I thought, I must try that. But because I'm doing a whole heap of other uh, projects, you know, I just, um, you know, I didn't get a chance to play. And I, and I thought, and it's been on my mind. And I want to play with them. Okay. So if we're talking about now these watercolours, um, and for those who don't know, uh, they're uh, artist quality, uh, and I have also tested with these uh, in the past and uh, I just want to give them a really good workout and to be able to because I get asked about what do you think of these watercolors because they're not they're really nicely priced and because they're a little bit um, they're not as expensive as the other brands um, that they'll think that there's something wrong with them and there's nothing wrong with them it's just that you know it's a small manufacturer um, not a big manufacturer or a, a well-known manufacturer you know um, so yeah Um, I, I'm very curious about the end result. So am I, Paulo. So am I. Um, look how it's starting to cauliflower. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I think that might be the effect, perhaps. I might have to um, figure out how this is going to work. Yes. Now this brush is really nice. Um, it's a synthetic, synthetic brush. Or less water probably, yes, yeah. Um, let me see if I can pick that up. Let me see if I can pick that up. Oh, look, I can. Look at that. I can pick that up. Okay. It's what experimenting is all about. Yeah, that's all right. Let it do that. I'll let it do that. There's nothing much I can do about that. Going into this project, I knew that this was the case. So let's see what I can do with it with pastels uh, once this dries. And I thought, what's, what better way, rather than swatching and, you know, maybe doing uh, spheres and stuff like that, I thought it might be a good idea to just do a small little project study, uh, which is what I do quite a lot when it comes to testing out things. So... Uh, so, for watercolours, now, one of our friends... I noticed on um, uh, with our Facebook group, Share Your Art with Xris Art, uh, Deb uh, bought some core, uh, core watercolours. And for all of the watercolour um, users or the ones that like to dabble in the watercolour, uh, what's your favourite watercolour paint and why? Wow, look at that. Is not how it's supposed to go but anyway let's just see what happens <laughs> okay hmm I wonder if it dries um, I wonder if it, when it dries can I pick that up or do I just keep on picking it up didn't want it to go there. Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, I notice watercolors always bleed on pastel mat. Yeah, they do. And not so much bleeding, but any kind of, um, uh, any kind of uh, liquid will do that. See, I'm going to have to bring it up just so you can see. You probably can see already, but I'll give you a really good close-up of what it's doing to me. See that bit there? That's that's the cauliflower, and of course it started to do funny things there. But that's all right. All good. Um, I did say hello to, to Lisa. I did, I did. Okay, pastel mat has no sizing, so that is not unexpected. Yeah, yeah. But that's all right. We're all good. I have to wait for this to dry a little bit. Um, I might just put a bit of... Um, uh, I might just dry it with a hairdryer. I'm just I'm just going to turn off the sound just for a minute and then I'm, I'm going to come back. Um, Okay, I'm back. All right, I'm going to see if I can get rid of this bit here. I, I really don't want it there. Um, yeah, it's not going to come off there. Okay, all right. It's not going to lift off after it's dried. Ooh, how about if I... No, nah, it's not even going to come off with the kneaded eraser. All good then. Not to worry. We'll just have to deal with that. Um, okay, well, I just want to at least out... Oh, yeah, that's right, because I wet it, didn't I? Okay, nothing that a layer of pastel won't fix. Okay. Oh, hi Janice. I made it, okay, okay. I see you're using your favorite color. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> That's right, dioxazine purple, or violet, or purple. But they're, they're my favorites, purple. <laughs> purple. All right, so let's just let that go. Um, I want to use a few other nice little colors here, though. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, Thalo Turquoise. I think that's my next favourite colour. Thalo Turquoise. Uh, another one of my favourites. Okay. 
and I actually got to be careful that I don't create mud with this so um, yeah very easy to create mud with this but these uh, watercolors yeah they're just beautiful I love them I love them you know um, you know we're all we're all aware of like the the schminker uh, uh, the schminker watercolors the sennelier there's call from um, uh, call from golden there's lots and lots of watercolors everywhere in the world um, and colors which and there are paints which I also want to get which I don't have is white knights um, or isn't it St. Petersburg white knights they're the Russian ones which I want to try and I've heard so many nice things about that one and nicely priced as well so they're the ones so I, I think that that's brand which I really want to get so you know not that I need it I don't need it everyone I don't need the, these watercolors but I want them you know I want them Uh, <laughs> um, I should have said was it embrace the mistakes oh I should have said happy accidents yes um, yes that's right happy accidents indeed indeed all right so but look I'm loving the I'm, lo I'm really liking what it's doing the I'm just going to see how it dries because obviously it's all about how it dries um, I might have to get a bit loose how about oh, that sounds bad. all the words that I've been saying today I've um <laughs> they all sound a bit um inappropriate <laughs> um okay so let it dry I'm have to, gonna have to use the hair dryer here. Uh, look, I like this brush. This is a very nice brush. So let me try the. Um, this is the sable brush, Kalinsky sable. And this one is hair. Here we go. Okay, so it sort of goes like this. Okay. Oh, look at all that going on. Oh, that's nice. Yes, happy accidents, Paulo. Yeah, so this is what's inspired because I, I saw this lady, she brought in, she I saw her work and I saw it up, up front and close, you know, in person I'm thinking. And this portrait had, it had turquoises, it had magentas, it had yellows. But you could see that it was a beautiful portrait and all the darks and the lights of different colors and not necessarily skin tones which has been the whole thing of what I've been carrying on about all these years it doesn't matter what color you use so long as you use the right values in the right places and I tell you what it was a stunning piece and she brought in about four or five and I'm thinking I just kept on picking up my jaw because I just it was on the floor constantly and I'm thinking, oh, this is too nice. Too nice. And I thought, you know what? And, and she did it on pastel mat. So that's why. I mean, I knew. I don't know how she overcame the, the cauliflower. And I know that she would have covered it with um, the, past, the soft pastel. So in this case, I can't do much with that. Or probably I could. I don't know. See how creative I get. Uh, you know, there is artistic license, of course. I'm going to dry this again because now I'm going to start to put uh, what I think is, or well maybe just um, maybe a few more watercolors, 
and then I'm going to start with the pastels. All right, I'm turning the sound off again because I just want to uh, dry uh, my section here and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, all right. Uh, also wanted to bring up, let me see. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Wanted to do one more thing with watercolor and that is uh, a really nice, um, just a nice sort of, what is it called? Hang on. It's a, Pyrrol orange. Okay, let's do this pyrrol orange. Um, okay. Uh, and yes, I uh, just wanted to say for all of those uh, who uh, may not know, uh, we've got a Facebook group called Share Your Art with x Recite, and this is where we continue the conversation from uh, from the live stream and you know this is where we get to share our our work uh, and all of our you know our deals that we've managed to um, maybe some art deals that you think that the um, art supply deals that is that you might think that the group might be interested in uh, what else? You, you, we can share your you can share your your page, um, or maybe share a video that you think that the group might be interested in. Uh, the rules are simple. There's no uh, there's no specific rule as far as uh, when we're you know with this group. So so, so long as you're um, uh, nice to each other, um, that's the main thing. So uh, here we go. All right. Yes, I just wanted that bit in there. Uh, definitely um, the pastel will lighten this up. So this is really nice to have this dark thing to work with. I'm trying to get rid of this cauliflower. I don't think I will. It, I don't think it'll happen if I just keep on... If I keep on using water, it'll just keep on creating water, um, cauliflower. So... And for those who don't know what cauliflower is, look at, see these little bits here, which looks like a cauliflower, you know, that's what it's, that, that's what that's all about. Oh, that's really nice like that there. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to dry this once more. Um, oh, by the way, share your art with Xerous Art. The description is in... Sorry, the, the link is in the description box below. If you are, oh, sorry, hang on. Sound off for a minute. Alright, okay that's pretty dry for me, 
Um, well, now I'm just going to get into the uh, into the pastel part of it. Uh, I think I've put enough layers, and I'm and see, look, this is what I was saying before. Um, the it started to cauliflower when I thought I was just trying to smooth it out. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So um, I didn't get to use these, but that's all right. Uh, all right, pastels. Um, uh, I've got my little bit of paper which I want to test. That's all right. Uh, now what's really interesting is that the uh, the watercolor uh, hasn't um, the watercolor hasn't um, used up all my tooth. I'm just trying to find the right word to say. It hasn't um, used all my tooth. I'm finding that oh I can put so much so much down still, which is really really good. Um, now the pastel that I'm using here, this is Mount Vision. Uh, this is a US. Uh, this is a, a US pastel. I've got all kinds here. We've got I've got the Schmincke, which is German. I've got the Art Spectrum, which is Australian. Uh, the Extra Stoff, Extra Stoff, Extra Soft Art Spectrum. I've also got the Sennelier. I've got what else have I got here? The Half Sticks. Uh, what else have I got? Um, oh, and I think these ones are the little Faber Castell ones. Um, yeah, so, you know, I've got all kinds of brands here. I mean, yeah, and like I said, I didn't pick them up for the brand. I picked it up for uh, the colour. And in true style, pastel map being the stubborn surface that it is, you need to get quite a few layers on. So this is what's going to happen. A messy business soft pastels isn't it That's nice and soft. Sennelier, all nice and buttery. Abigail, hello. Marcy, hello. Has the water changed the texture of the paper? No, it hasn't. Nothing. Um, okay, I'm sneezing, just watching you paint. <laughs> oh, yes, it's very messy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm dashing out to wash my hands, Jane. <laughs> Okay, um, okay. Did you get the neon pastels? They're coming. I wanted to use them on this project, but they're coming. Don't you worry, where as soon as I get them, I'm going to be using them on a project. Don't you worry about that. No. Yes. No, nothing's changed. The pastel map can take quite a bit. 
most definitely take quite a bit of um, of a beating. Oh, it definitely can. Um, hang on. Better. How about I just um. What about if I just do this before I pick up something that's light? Good one. I know it works. Um, He's very stubborn, actually. Um, hi, Ali. Uh, yes, I'm well. Thank you very much. Um, Janice says, Chrissy, in this case, what is the point of using the watercolor? Um, it is, uh, is it to, so you don't need as much pastel. So in other words, a base layer. Pretty much, Janice, and that's exactly right. It's a base layer. Um, some people work with watercolor to about 80 percent on this surface and then they just add the accents of pastel um, i wanted to see what i could get away with um, yes is the answer Yeah. Hi, Sneaks. We were just talking about you not long ago. Well, I was anyway. Uh, we talked about your watercolor purchase or your watercolors that you've got core that you uh, posted on um, Share Your Art with x Art Facebook page um, and showing us and how gorgeous are they. I've only got a few of those tubes, but... Uh, they are very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, all right. Sorry, just concentrating here a bit. <laughs> um, yes, seriously, yes, yes. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I bought some alcohol markers. It's 22.35 here. What's that? Oh, really? It is really late for you, Abigail. Have your clocks changed already? Who's... Oh, you're going to... You're, oh, okay. Good night? Is that... Good night? Is that good night? Okay, I bought... Is that... Uh, Jenna says, I bought a whole bunch of stuff to get into resin art. I've been waiting for years to get into it. Uh, finally, t finally uh, took the leap. Oh, yes. Um, and it's really nice stuff, everyone. Um, Sneak says, I watched the review on them and thought it would make a good starter set for, uh, for me, uh, as I've never used that medium. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, Core have got, um, I think it's honey or there's a bit of honey. I think there is something different about the uh, uh, about the binder. Oh, that binder. I always know when I'm picking up uh, a pastel like Sennelier. The minute I put it down, it's like butter. It's like like get, it's very buttery smooth. So when it comes to mixing, uh, mixed media, pastel watercolor under underneath, and yeah, I mean it's a good point that you what you say, Janice. You know what is um like what's the point of putting watercolor uh i suppose it's the it's the transition maybe it's the watercolor artists that um that want to give pastel a go i don't know what what the go is i suspect um it would have something to do with uh, them trying to figure out their style i don't know but when I saw this portrait, I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to see how this goes down in a project. Not so much just scratching a bit out on a bit of paper. I just want to see how, you know, how it works. Will it add value to my paintings or my painting style is probably the question I would be, I would be asking myself. Um, yeah. That's probably the question. Will it add value? I'd say it would, if I used it in the right way. You know, this is what my hands look like after work sometimes, and I've got to go, you know, because I'm, um, oh, and I'm not complaining, I tell you that much. <laughs> I'm loving it. What is it? Aquazol. Oh, Paulo, you know, Aquazol. They use a different binder, not the usual gum Arabic. 
they have uh, and Deb says or sneaks uh, they have a, a proprietary can't say they have a, a proprietary binder they developed they don't use standard binders okay it wasn't developed by golden core oh no really it was used in conservation works before using uh, before before they used before they were used in watercolors well I'm impressed um, but they are the only ones that use it in watercolors yes I know that they have something quite exclusive don't they um, most definite well oh, that's interesting really interesting okay all right I said I was going to avoid using pans I lied I wanted to get some fine lines. I can't get the detail that I want. Um, uh, in fact, I want white. Where's my white? Do I have white here? No. Might have to. Oh, I do have white. Here we go. Uh, um, okay. A view is a view. Hello, hello there. How are you? Nice to s nice to see you here. Um, okay. Welcome. Well, this is all going to be very rough and loose, which is probably a good thing. I like it when things... Um, there's sort of like... sort of goes a bit like this, actually. Uh, and there's a bit here. Now, I have quite a bit of pastel down here. Okay, might have to start using pencils, I think, as well. And that's the good thing with mixed media, there are no rules. In fact, really, there shouldn't be any rules with art. It's whatever you can come up with, isn't it? Of course, all of the um, all of the uh, staunch pastel artists, please don't criticise me for blowing um, my pastel away from my surface. Now let's see what happens when I apply pastel pencil. Will it let me? Okay, we've tried the pans, we've tried the soft, uh, soft pastels. It is now time for uh, pastel pencil. Let's see what happens. Will it let me? Seems it, it is. There we go. Um, oh, hello, Rob. Hello there. How are you today? Um, okay. Always a lurker. Or have we have we met you before? That's a very good question, Janice. Um, Paulo, the inventor of Aquazole was Martin K. Lindemann, working for the Dow Chemicals. 
I had to look it up. I had to look up in my database. Oh wow! I don't think that I dropped down. <laughs> Just watching. I've learnt. Um, I've learnt a lot watching. Oh yes. Well, there you go. Well, you um, welcome. Um, a view is a view. So the pastel pencil, even though I've got quite a bit of uh, pastel down, uh, it has, um, it's still the pastel pencil, it, it, well this is allowing me to, to work through on top. Okay, okay. You got the cauliflowers like me the first time I used watercolors um, and pastel mat. There you go. Okay, view. Uh, do you also follow Dee Dee? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Oh yes, welcome to our as Avagar says, welcome to our art family. There's lots going on here. So today is an experiment uh, just to see what happens with all of these and all I was uh, before all, uh, I, I did mention before for those people that are coming in um, you know will it add value to my art that's the question um, is it something that I perhaps maybe should be doing with my art in my art sorry uh, oh okay here we go uh, last week we were talking about uh, we were talking about a group painting. I'm at the moment. I'm looking for an appropriate image. Um, I do have, and I'm, it's going to be only for 12 people. And I said that I would post it on Share Your Art like last week, but I haven't found the um, an appropriate image. Um, but I do have one, two, three. One, I have I have Heba. Uh, who joined us last week for I think for the first time I'm not sure um, I've got Nan is the backup then I've got Cherry who's a question mark uh, I've also got Horsewoman, Oksana, Avigail, Shandri and Nuria so um, yes oh okay um, Okay, Avigail says uh, she is. Can I tell you about her here, uh, Chrissy? Absolutely. Tell us about who is Dee Dee and where is Dee Dee from? And am I pronouncing that, that name correctly? Uh, absolutely, you can share. Uh, Robin says I found using only just enough water to activate uh, watercolor pencils works well. Using the uh, pencils are both wet and dry. Okay. I'm in if you need me. Oh, okay. So I've got you. Well, I've got you down as a question mark, Cherry. So, okay. Oh, okay. Deb, you're in. You've been. <laughs> are you serious? I'm writing. I'm writing you down. I'm putting you. I'm in too, please. All right. See, I've got my little list here. You see. All right. I've got you in, Deb. So I'm only going to have twelve people, okay? And I'll put down sneaks. Okay, so see Cherry, I've got you down as a question mark and I've got Nan. Well, it's, it's a backup, so so I've got two backups. So there's only going to be room for 12. I'm not going to be, yeah, it's not going to be a lot. Okay, okay, I'll do that challenge again. Oh, okay, Rob. All right, well, I've got you down. Let me see, one. I won't put Nan and Cherry down. I won't count them at the moment. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four more places. Okay. Now, of course, this is not a masterpiece by any means. Um, I just wanted to see what it was going to do to me. I mean, I knew it was going to cauliflower. Uh, but what's happened is that the surface, pastel mat, uh, allows you to do so much. Sure, it's an expensive uh, surface. Anything worthwhile is. Um, what's if, and if you're limited on resources, buy one sheet and cut it down. Uh, I think it's worth. You know, it'll probably be worth a couple of cups cups of coffee. Or as I would say, cappuccinos. If you went to a cafe, how much would you spend on a coffee? Just think of it that way. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, Abigail, her name, oh, it's Aditi Willingham, is a very talented artist. She streams twice a week. Her work is jaw dropping. She does everything. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to check her out. Uh, sure, uh, she sure does everything. Oh wow, calligraphy, collage, painting, drawing, and whatnot. I think uh, I'll link her on Facebook. Excellent, thank you so much. Uh, Cherry says, Chrissy, can you go over the cauliflowers with pastel? I probably could. I probably could if I just um. There we go. Well, that got rid of the cauliflower, didn't it? I suppose that's the only way to do it. Okay. Now, I think, was it you, Rob, that... Oh, hi, Kathy. Welcome, nice to see you. Okay, hi everyone, good to catch you live. I'm glad you did. Well, welcome. Um, oh, I just forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, that's right. There are some people, and I think, Rob, you're the one who mentioned it, that is it... Um, I think it's Les Darlow who, um, does he put watercolour on top of the pastel? Does he do that? Or was it vice versa? You're going to have to tell me. You're going to have to tell me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, well, that got rid of the cauliflower, didn't it, by just covering it. And you know what, that's due to the surface. The surface is magnificent. All right. 
Um, interesting. Uh, well, when you're when you're putting watercolor on pastel mat, I'm afraid you probably won't see granulation if there's granulation colors. I don't know. Maybe if it's if my pastel mat was white, I might have been able to, but I doubt it. Um, uh, yes, you can watercolor and you can use soft pastel. You can use pastel pencils on top. I've put a ton of layers of pastel on this. Um, okay, I think he does do that, but it's hard to find a video of him doing it unless you purchase his workshop. Okay. Uh, Abigail says, now I'll snitch on <laughs> Kathy Arbor. Okay, she is an amazing artist as well. Also on YouTube, amazing acrylic work. They really, uh, really love it. <gasps> Kathy, well, welcome. You're going to have to join um, our Facebook group and show us all your work. And we would love to uh, follow you also, you know. Oh, this is wonderful. This is the whole point of this chat, you know. Uh, sharing your art, sharing videos, sharing all of these wonderful artists uh, would absolutely love for you to join our group. Um, and I would love to see your work as well. So I'm going to have to write all of these things down. Um, but yes, Abigail, share this on, share your art with Xris Art so we can uh, have a look as well. Definite, definite. Okay, so my experiment today. I mean, sure, it's not a masterpiece. That's fine. I get it. <laughs> uh, but it works. It works. My only, my only problem is the cauliflower uh, thing. And that's what you were saying, Rob, before, that, you know, perhaps maybe trying less water, I suppose, less fluid. Um... I mean, it can work to your advantage, I suppose. Uh, but yes, playing around with mixed media is so much fun and you discover so many things. So, um, yes. Um, sorry, I'm just doing this because it's now starting to annoy me that it's not so perfectly round. Okay, all right. Yes, so rather than swatching, I'd rather do like a little project study to see how they work together. All right. Okay. Um, oh, thank you so much, Janice. That's so cool. Uh, Rob says, I love these uh, Saturday morning sessions. <laughs> okay. I love them too. And I love that you're here. Thank you all so much for... Um, uh, thank you for keeping me company and discovering all of these things. Let's see. Uh, now, will it? Oh, yeah, pastel pencils still going on. Yeah, still going on. Well, that's good to know. But only just. This is this is Geoconda, so it's a soft core pastel pencil. Um, And still put pastel on okay all right okay what's this put some watercolor on top and see what happens uh, have you seen oh here we go have you seen Tonya Sell's art she uses pastels and watercolor in her work oh interesting we're gonna have to share that one as well see this is what I love I love all of this stuff um, all right do you really want me to give that a go Oh, geez. Okay. All right. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. So what we did was we put watercolor underneath, pastel on top. Now I've got a crap load of pastel on here. So I know, well, um, I know that pastels are water soluble, so I'm not going to have too much of a problem. Uh, it might re cauliflower again with the fluid, but let's just see what happens. Um, okay, well, here we go, folks. Now, how much watercolor do I put? 
I mean, sorry, how much water? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, yeah. Oh, ooh. <laughs> sorry, I dropped some of that on there. So what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to uh, lighten this up. Let's wait until it... Well, I'm going to use a hairdryer. Some lovely smooth gradients here. Alright, I'm putting on the hairdryer. I'm going to dry this up and, oh yeah, it's all right, okay, okay, Tr try grading pastel on a wet surface by using a sandblock or a craft knife to flick the pastel to create some texture, oh that'd be nice, I wonder if the binder of the watercolour will keep the pastel from moving, interesting, <gasps> okay, that's nice, that's a nice looking brush, what brush is that, that is, Ooh, hang on that is um, by Aquarius Renaissance um, it's a synthetic brush uh, so but you know and I'm trying it for the first time to be honest uh, by Renaissance okay so let me dry this up let me just get a blow dry and dry this up and see what I can do with it so I'm just going to turn the sound off just for a minute I'll be back. Okay, let me just show you what's happened. And I'll bring it up. Uh, there's... Uh, 
well, a little bit of cauliflower, but I, I'm not really too fussed about it. Um, dried completely, right? And now I'm just going to put some uh, white pastel on top to finish it off. Uh, and what I will do, let me see if I can use some of my brushes here. And I knew I'd do this. I said I wasn't, but I, I am doing it. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Using the pans. So hard to get away from them. Hi, Horsewoman. Hello. Hi, Chrissy. Hi. Uh, okay, I'm lurking in the background, helping my daughter get packed for a week vacation with her school and friends. So I'll be all alone for a week. Oh, that's sad. Oh, Cheryl. Hello. What's it like over there in New Zealand? Hello. All back from planting out in the garden. Oh, so now's the time to relax. That's right, because you're about four hours ahead of us, aren't you? Yep. Three, four, New Zealand. Okay. Again, like I said, this, this is not a masterpiece. It's an experiment to see how things work. And as you can see, I'm... I've tried so many things on top of each other. This surface, honestly, it's it's all due to the surface. This surface is really amazing. Isn't it? It's very hard to go past it. I suppose that and you art. So we know that that works. And by the way, uh, uh, let me see what the pastel feels like. There's a bit of pastel. Um, actually, it's, it's the pans that have made it a bit powdery, um, not the water underneath. Right, okay. Okay, when does your time change? Uh, at the end, at the end of March for us in Australia. Um, yeah, all's fair in love and art. <laughs> yes, Rob, we love pastel mat. Okay, I misread. I th I thought painting in the garden. Oh, okay. Um, okay, Cheryl, did you have an earthquake in New Zealand? Yeah, it depends where you live in Australia. Weather, uh, weather over here is variable. Oh, okay. All right, so. I know, I shouldn't blow. Ah, oh, look at that. Yes, this is what happens when you... Um, this is soft pastel that was just sitting on the surface and using the brush has just upset it a bit. <laughs> there you go. All right, so... Is it something, um, okay, I thought she said that they don't have time change. Okay. Um, okay, depends on where you live in Australia. Whether, okay. So, testing uh, watercolour or mixed media, uh, sorry, watercolour and soft pastel, it works. Bottom line, it works. And it works very well. 
So uh, for those mixed media artists, you know, and for those who are wanting to get certain techniques, certain things going, I mean, I'm using pastel matte, no doubt, if you're using watercolor, I suspect watercolor paper works. Um, but, you know, uh, so I used uh, Renaissance, um, sorry, uh, I used, um, um, oh my gosh, Roman Schmal uh, watercolors, which um, I love very much. I use soft pastels, all kinds of brands, pan pastels. Uh, I use this lovely brush, which I didn't get to, I haven't used, which I like. It is a synthetic brush. Uh, also use the Sable Kalinske, uh, made in Germany. Beautiful brush. Um, but you see, that's, it. that's the difference. A synthetic will snap, will go back to its shape, uh, whereas the, you know, the real hair doesn't. Um, Jelena, hi, hi, hi. Daylight saving finishes the first weekend in April. There you go, Rob. There you go. See, <laughs> Rob knows. I have no idea. Hi, Shandri. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right. So this works. Okay. Uh, well, look, I think I'll uh, leave it there uh, for all of those. Um, you know, this is available on uh, replay. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining. And thank you so much for our new friends who have joined. Uh, and thank you, Abigail. Uh, I would love for you to share their pages and all of their work. And again, don't forget, folks, um, now I've got, let me see, one, two, three, four, I've got one two three four five six seven eight i've got eight people for our project i'm going to need four um, i just need to find the appropriate um, image and um and i'll put down all of the people that have said and then you can confirm whether yes or no okay there'll be a um uh there will be confirmed numbers when i put it in but look all thank you so much for joining this week um uh, probably um um, I've got a few projects which I'd like to do for Saturday mornings. Well, that's here for in, in Australia um, next week. But we'll see what happens. Thank you all so much for joining. Uh, really appreciate your time, appreciate your company, and um, I'll see you all next time. Okay, uh, bye for now, everyone.